Hello my dear friends, I'm sure all of you are doing very well and taking good care of your health as well as studies also, right? Today what we are going to do is another um, um, identity, another identity. So we have already done I think around about seven identities, trigonometric identities. So we are going to do most probably the last identity for this particular exercise chapter also. Alright, so we have done I think six, seven, so many identities. This is the last one. So Chalo, let's try to learn this. The identity comes as follows and that is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 into x into y into z is equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus x into y minus y into z minus x into z so quite a lengthy formula for us here but not very difficult to remember as i always say we practice with practice maths is always easy without practice maths is uh, very difficult so this is the identity one of the last identities that we will be studying okay done all right so now we have a special case of this particular identity also which will be used uh, in some calculations also like something like a shortcut or yeah, something like that no? that is uh, let's say special case special case that is in this identity if the sum of the three variables that we have x y z x plus y plus z if their sum happens to be zero, not individual values, their sum, if the total sum of these three variables uh, given to us is zero, variables or values or any arbitrary constant, any values, if that is zero, then what happens is, let's see what happens. In that case, x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy into z is, this becomes zero. 0 into this value x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus x z so 0 into any value 0 so then you are left with x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z is equal to 0 or x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to take that on this side x3 xyz this is the special case of this identity if this condition is fulfilled that is if the sum of the values of x y z is zero then we can just use this formula that is the shorter version of you know this particular formula that is x cube plus y cube plus z cube can be also 3 into x into y into z when when x plus y plus z equal to 0 so we'll come across those questions also all right so that time i will again remind you ah that was the formula all right fine then let's move up to question number um, 11 factorize again factorize Factorize, factorize. I hope you have your pen, paper, copy, everything ready. So let us begin. So the question is factorize. Uh, where is it? Oh, factorize. Question number 11. Okay. 27x cubed plus y cubed. 27x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed. 27x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 9xyz. Minus 9xyz. So we'll have to first arrange again, see whether it's of that particular identity or not. So 27x cubed can be written as 3x whole cube. Because 3 cube is 27, x cube is cube. So x cube, so whole cube, plus y cube plus z cube. So what is the value of x here that we have been following? 3x. So in that case, the formula to if we can use only if it's 3 into x into y into z. So what is x here? 3x, y, z. Now again, like always, 
compare. Three threes are nine, x, y, z, minus, minus nine, x, y, z, perfect. So now we can apply that particular formula. What was that? I'll start from here. That is x plus y plus z, but x value here is three x into x square. Okay, as always, I'll do like that. X square plus y square plus z square minus x into y. I'll continue here. Minus y into z minus x into z. Now fill up the blanks. That is x, y, z, 3x into y, y into z, x into z. All right, so nothing to change here. And here we will have 9x square whole square. I always remind you of that z square minus uh, 3xy minus yz minus 3xz. So that is how you will be applying this identity number 11. And here, 3xy minus yz minus 3xz. Alright, so that's what you will be. I mean, that's how you will be applying this particular identity. Finish. You can pause the video there. Alright, then I'll move on. Next question. Oh, 12. Very fine. Very fine that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to 1 by 2 x plus y plus z into x minus y square plus y minus z square plus z minus x square. Very fine. So some of you must be wondering, Arisha, just now only you gave us one particular identity. Now again, this is different. This is not an identity. This is just to verify only. Luckily, this equation, both sides will be same. That's also, this is not an identity that we are given. We're just like to prove that this is true. Maybe an identity, we can use it also. All right. So now there are many ways to prove this uh, particular statement. Um, as I always say, whichever methods that I have been doing here, that's not the only, those are not the only methods. Maths, you can do it in so many different ways. One plus one, two, half plus half plus half plus half. That's also two. It's all about the way you do it. Provided, yes, it has to be just mathematically correct, technically correct. It has to be correct only, but that's all. You can do it in different ways. All right. So here, um, there can be some other easier ways also. I have, uh, there, will, there are many ways, as I say, for this particular problem. But I'll just go uh, lengthy one, simple one. I don't want to compare too many things and this and that. That's what I feel, so I'll just expand. So what I'll do is I'll just start with the right hand side. This is my right hand side. And from the right hand side, I'll try to prove the left hand, left hand side because it's about verification only. All right, so right hand side, I'll take. So this one, this one, no changes as of now. And why I decided to do this was simply because of the reason that I, we all know what is the formula of a minus b whole square. Huh? And we all know that it was a square minus twice of a into b plus b square. So it's easy to recall. So I'll just start expanding. Chalo, let's expand. I believe you have all gone through the other videos. If not, I'll provide you the link below. Ah, come on. You can watch the other videos also. So that's how we will be expanding. So now x, x, we have two x square plus y, y, we have 2y square plus z, z, we have 2z square minus 2xy minus 2yz minus 2xz. So 1 by 2, x plus y plus z. I'll take 2 common from this. So that's because every term has a 2 here. So 
this two and two I can cancel. Now I guess we are slowly getting the point. Does it does does this look familiar? So then that's left. We are left with x plus y plus z. X square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus x z. Isn't it? So now. Just now only we did this particular identity. This identity is, of course we can, uh, of course we have to prove. So, yeah, we have to prove. So this is a particular identity also, but let's just multiply again and then no problem. Of course this is the identity itself, but it requires simple calculation only. Yes, I admit to it, it's a bit lengthy. So, I'll continue here, okay? There might be some other ways also. I haven't tried. There, will, there is, actually. So you can try those methods also. I am just... I'm just doing this best. So this just requires simple formula recall, retention and then just multiplication. So I'll just start multiplying. Yes, terms will be many, you will have to be just careful first. So let's start multiplying. That is x cubed plus xy squared plus xz squared minus x squared y minus xyz minus x squared z. I'll just put a line here so that we don't confuse, okay? I'll can now with this y x square plus y cube plus y z square minus x y square minus y square z minus x y z plus with z now z x square plus z y square plus z cube minus x y z minus y z square minus x z square so just blindly just multiplying just going on multiplication this is what we have so what is left with us is c anything that we can do here So x y square plus x y square minus. Finish writing now, so let's do some cancellation. x z square plus x z square. x square z x square z plus minus. y z square y z square plus minus y square z y square z plus minus z y square same as y square z only now nah? any more term left we have x square y x square y x square y plus minus so what is left with us here we are left with x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus x y z x y z x y z 3 x y z so that's 3 x y z this was the left hand side so of course this is the identity so maybe we can just use that particular identity and just get the proof done but if you just wish to see complete solution yeah i've just expressed it i've just expanded it and you see ultimately we get the proof also Alright, so we can take the help of that identity also maybe, but yeah, it doesn't take time also, it doesn't take less, I think less than a minute also. You have to be quick, swift with your calculations, that's all that is required. Alright, done, you can pause there, okay. Alright. Next, number 13. 
if x plus y plus z is equal to 0, show that x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz. Do you remember? I have already proved this in the beginning of this class, but let's prove it again. We know x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus xz if x plus y plus z happens to be zero then we've already done this so i'm just going to write swiftly z cube minus 3xyz is equal to zero into this becomes zero into x because it is given in the question that is the condition z square minus xy minus yz minus xz so then in that case this becomes x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to 0. So that's x cube plus y cube plus z cube is equal to 3xyz because minus you take to this side it becomes plus so that's the proof. So as I've always said especially in the, throughout this entire uh, chapter exercise uh, been telling you that it's the most important thing here is how you multiply, add, subtract, and divide. That's about your arithmetic capabilities, how you do your simplification. So that's what matters here, how you multiply terms. So it's not difficult. Yes, the only thing that you'll require is, yeah, you need to recall the formulas, identities, I mean. But after that, it's just about your basic training, like simplification, you know. You just have to be steady and swift. All right. 12. Uh, not 12, you just done. Without 14. Actually, calculating. Without actually calculating the cubes, find the value. In short only I am writing. The first one is minus 12 whole cube plus 1. Alright. 7 cube plus 5 cube. Yeah, it's very easy. I can just go for 12 cube, 7 cube, 5 cube. Get the value. But You are told very strictly without actually calculating the cubes. So that's why that two times you have done today. Just now before this problem also we have proved it also. You remember? If the terms x and y and z, their sum is 0. Then in that case x cube plus y cube plus z cube is nothing but the product of 3 times the product of the 3 terms. x3, x, y, z. Let's check. Here, what is x if we assume 12? What is y? 7. What is z? 5. Now let's try adding x plus y plus z. That's minus 12 plus 7 plus 5. So that's minus 12 plus 12. What do we get? 0. So x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be 3xyz. Okay? Simple as that. So what is x cube? Minus 12 cube. What is y? Come on man, why am I writing z every time I write 7? 7 cube plus 5 cube. That's what the question is. This value is simply 3 into minus 12 into 7 into 5. So we can easily get the product without expanding or without calculating the cubes. So that's going to be minus 36 into 35, 75 is 35. So calculate this 36 into 35, 
5, 6 are 30, 3 left, 5, 3 are 15, 18 into 3, 6 are 18, 1 left, 3, 3 are 9, plus 1, 10. So that's going to be 0, 16, 1 left, 2, so 1, 2, 6, 0, but negative value is there, so minus 1, 2, 6, 0. Okay? Okay. Maybe that particular question, uh, question number what? 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 Twelve. Yeah, question number twelve. Maybe um, after later on, later on I'll try I'll solve and give you the other method also in the other videos, in another video. Okay, so I'll solve and give you the other, another other ways of solving it also. Maybe two, uh, one, two different ways of solving. I'll give it to you. All right. So you can check out those videos also and you can do which one is easiest for you. Alright, so do not worry, I will give you the other methods also. If you are still thinking and if you are still wondering, ah, sir, that is too lengthy, how will we expand, not possible, don't worry. I'll try and give you another method also. So, same process here, nothing. Let x be 28, y is minus 15. That is minus 13. We are checking. Of course, you can actually mentally calculate also, and then you will get to know. So, those who are strong in your numberings and all, you can easily get to know that. Yes, I can use 28 plus minus 15 plus minus 13. So, 28 minus 15 minus 13. So, 15 minus 13, 28 minus 28. How much? Zero. So, in that case, x cube plus y cube plus z cube can be easily approached as 3 into x into y into z. What is x? 28 cube plus y minus 15 cube plus z minus 13 cube. This value without calculating the cubes, its value is 3 into 28 into minus 15 into minus 13. So 3 into 24, 2 left. 6, 7, 8, 84 into 15 into 13, how much? Today I'll calculate 15 into 13, 3, 5, 15, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 5, 9, 1, so 195, 195, minus into minus, Whew, plus, minus into minus, plus, so that's why, Minus 15 into minus 13, 195 plus. So 195 into 84, 85 to 20, 2 left, 4 and 36, 27, 38, 3 left, 4 and 4, 5, 6, 7, 5 to 40, 4 left, 8 and 2, 76, 7 left, 8, 1, 7, 8, 15, okay, 0, 8, 13, 1 left, 6. So that's going to be 16380. 16380. Bingo. All right, so that's it for this particular session. So I think we will just need one more video uh, on the remaining questions. So with just one video, we'll be finishing up this particular exercise, which of course was a big exercise. All right, so thank you for supporting me. Please do a like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.